Ahava and blessings to all of you. And I am here to share a beautiful reading from the Desert Rose Oracle Cards for this week. Now, I haven't done the weekly readings in a long time because I've been really busy with my two new books that I will be sharing with the world very soon. Um, but I am glad to say that everything is grounded and ready for a shared manifestation. And so it is so beautiful to see that the card that we have received for this week for our guidance is the Avalon Rose. Now this card represents Mary Magdalene in Avalon, her consciousness in Avalon. And it is so beautiful to receive because we have just published on my website, the beautiful gathering that we will be hosting in Avalon in 2025 for her feast day between the 18th and the 22nd of uh, July the Magdalene Holy Gathering in Avalon. So just receiving this card when this was uh, released these past few days is just a beautiful confirmation. And so there are many meanings in this card because the Desert Rose Oracle cards are a living oracle, right? And we know that when we talk about Mary Magdalene and Avalon, there's so many different interpretations, there's so many different meanings. But I want to talk about the message I'm receiving for all of us this week, and it is very connected to the month of Tishrei and Libra, the month that we are currently in, Tishrei Libra, within the Aramaic creation, spirituality, and Hebrew mysticism, because there are many teachings involved in this month, of course, divine union being an important one, but the, the teaching that always I find remarkable in this in this portal, in this beautiful journey of the Shre is how can we create a better relationship with the material world and how is my relationship, our relationship with the material world? And so if we look at this card, as I said, lots of meanings here. We have the bridal chamber, the activation of Yeshua and Mariam in the heart, but let's look at the crown chakra. She is holding the land on the crown chakra, right? And so what this means is that she is merging, her soul is completely being embodied through her body vessel so that she can complete her incarnation, so that her complete incarnation can be shared. Um, throughout most of our life, the, the greatest part of our soul lives in the arc line. Right? And our task is to bring the energy of the soul down and embody it within our vessel. And this is why when we do healing, when we release uh, the false veils of illusion, we expand, our soul expands, and that veil that falls creates a shift in our life, right? Because more of our soul is becoming embodied. And so what, what Mary Madden wants to tell us here is, of course, in the land of Avalon, which represents the heart chakra, that is why there is a heart chakra activation, when we focus on our divine union, right? And we understand that we are infinitely merged with the eternal one. When, when, when we are in prayer, in practice, and in sacred intention, we're really connecting highly um, and powerfully with the higher dimensions, right? And this is, this is a longing that we have because this is where we come from. This is where we can access information, right? This is where we remember. But how can we bring this down? Because all of this information, all of this remembrance is part of what we are here to share. We don't have to share it in a grandiose way. It could be shared with our beloveds, with our family, um, maybe with our creations, within our work, but with people, right? It needs to be shared to be complete. And so what Mary Magna is saying is that it is so important to connect with the land, right? And not just connecting, of course, with the land, the waters, the trees, right? The mountains, the grass, but also part of the connection with the land is to fully embody our soul in this incarnation. Because each of us has a valuable piece of information that we are here to share for the collective ascension of humanity, for the collective unity of humanity, right? All of us are here. I mean, all, all of us hold a beautiful frequency, sacred codes that we are here to share. And so when the crown chakra is open and we start to ground that energy and we become one with our incarnation, actually this is a symbol of becoming one with the physical incarnation. And when we become one with the physical incarnation, 
again, the Garden of Eden blooms, right? The heart chakra represents that Garden of Eden, the bridal chamber. Um, and so this is why the roses are coming out in the heart, because she finally has reached that state of complete embodiment of the soul, and she's ready to share this. And so this is a beautiful, beautiful message. There are many messages associated with this card as well. Another one is to work with essential oils. Um, but the mantra, each uh, card has an Aramaic mantra, is Kadem Hakima in Aramaic. Kadem Hakima. Okay, and it means come to me, holy wisdom. And this mantra holds the energy of, one second, I can't read that far away. <laughs> this mantra holds the energy of the waters of the chalice well. Holy wisdom, the divine feminine presence will heal your heart chamber and allow you to awaken to the beauty of essence of love, what you truly are, and to express this in your incarnation. Kadem Hakima. So maybe you want to do a few rep repetitions of ha uh, Kadem Hakima. And so I'm wishing all of you a beautiful week. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your time. And I hope that this message has awakened something within you as it has awakened something within me. Ahava.